festival playlist. So I'm going to throw it over to you guys to talk us through all the lovely bits and pieces we've got coming up. Cool. Let's bring up the slides. So festival playlist. First up for the series completion at 50%, you're going to get the Ford Mustang Spec 5 and at 80%, the Mercedes-Benz W154. Uh, let's go to the next slide, please. Great, so uh, you'll be able to get the Renault Clio concept again. That's a car that if you missed out before, you can now have another chance of getting that um, as long as... Uh, next slide, please. Cool, and so this is our first car that we're adding to the game as part of this series. This is the Toyota Celica ST205. Absolutely awesome rally car. We're actually going to be talking about that in the Forza Monthly stream after this, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Cool, next slide. Great, so at 50% for autumn completion, you're going to have another chance to get the Hoonigan RS200. We know you love that car. Next slide, please. And the Lancia Delta, you'll be able to get that doing the uh, What's That Coming Over the Hill trial. We've also bringing one of our showcase remixes back. So the Pillar of Autumn, this is a really cool take on the Halo showcase if you guys have missed that before. Uh, next slide, please. Great, so we have the Honda Civic Mugen as well, if you want to um, get your hands on that in the two hot hatch to handle uh, season event. But more importantly, we have another exclusive car we are adding to the game, and that is the Ford Racing Puma, an absolutely beautiful car, and you can get that by doing the Cool Cat season event. Not only that, um, you'll be able to drive this car in the monthly rivals event too, so you can play that throughout the entire series, but if you want to get your hands on it, make sure you check out that season event in autumn. Next slide, please. We have another new car. This is another uh, Toyota Celica, this time the ST185. Uh, we're going to be talking about this later in this stream, so make sure you stick around for that. Next slide, please. Cool, so we have the 2004 Subaru WRX as well. If you want to get your hands on that, if you've missed out before, you can do the trial. Uh, we've also got the Quartz Regalia D, another awesome, like absolutely off, absolute beast of a car by doing Winter Games. But more importantly, we've got another exclusive car, this time the Mitsubishi Starion. Um, really, really awesome rally car, very iconic. They'll be talking about that in the Forza Monthly stream just after this one. So again, make sure you stick around for that. Next slide, please. Uh, our next slide again as well, thanks. Great, uh, we've got the, another new car. This is the Nissan Pulsar. Um, you'll be getting that at 50% of the spring season. There's a bit of a theme you can probably tell going with these new cars that we're adding. Uh, next slide. And we have another showcase remix here. So uh, Taxi for Takeoff is coming back. This is when you are in Aisha Reddy's Taxi versus a Jet, because uh, why not? It's Horizon. And... Um, if you guys missed out on that, you can have a go at doing the Sprint Games. Uh, next slide, please. Cool. So we have another exclusive car, which is the Peugeot 205 Rally. And you can get that by doing the season event Stardew Rally E. So that's um, a re really, like, that kind of sums up all the new cars. We've got six brand new uh, rally cars that are absolutely iconic and really great fun to drive on all the dirt racing events we've got at Horizon. So we kind of themed our season events around that. <laughs> Okay, now, with your heart pumping, let's immediately dive into the Series 22 cars. Uh, let's start with that Salika, shall we? Let's go. Oh, there's the lead lad. He's literally got a lead lad right there. Great. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah, so, sorry, sorry, everyone. There's a show to do here. Um, Dave, do you want to talk about this one? So, yeah, no? this is the... Um... Oh, yeah, go on. You go for it, Mike. <laughs> This is the 92 Celica. It's the ST185. So this really started uh, Toyota's, Toyota's reign in, in uh, Group A rally throughout the early 90s. And it was just after that split where the Supra and the Celica became separate cars. So the Supra used to be a, a version of uh, the Celica. So this is where those lines split. Supra became more of a sports car and the Celica became more of a, more of a rally car. So this one, unlike a lot of the Celicas, is four-wheel drive, two-liter turbo engine. And it's the same engine that you would have got in the MR2 turbo at that time as well. Um, it's really cool. It's got that. It straddles that line between 80s and 90s in terms of styling. So, really nice lines. It kind of has 
both the kind of quite sharp edges of the of the eighties, but starting to see those curves that came in the nineties, which is really nice. And of course, proper headlights, uh, as as we all love proper headlights. Uh, you can yeah, get this car. Like uh, you missed it earlier. Fifty uh, percent in winter. Yeah, it's such an iconic um, rally car. There's there's actually a um, like a really classic safari um, photo with this car, and it just looks absolutely incredible. It's such a nice looking, nice looking car. I absolutely love it. Cool. Um, the video just wants to show us inside the car, I think. So, oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, just still not looking at the outside of the car. But there's, there's the headlights. <laughs> so, Everyone, lo lovely headlights right there. Yeah, so unfortunately, we're not doing live gameplay at the moment. This is pre recorded. Um, so, uh, if you want to look at the outside of this car, you'll need to uh, check, log into the game during winter and complete 50% of the list. I'm just going to uh, stop my mixer stream because people are following me. Um, should we jump onto the next car? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, so it's the start of the 90s, and this is uh, the Peugeot 205 Rally. You can unlock this car by uh, completing the Stardew Rally uh, season event in spring. So still a few weeks to wait to get your hands on this one. Um, Dave, I know you love you love this car. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? I absolutely love this car. Yeah, so um, I know that uh, Chris Harris from Top Gear actually got one of these, and that kind of speaks quite highly of the car in itself. But um, what's what's really interesting with this version is if you want the uh, the performance version, so if you were to get the the Rally Edition, the 205, it was actually cheaper um, than the, the the standard version. So you go and ask for uh, the, the Rally Edition, but. Uh, Normally, when they strip out all the parts to make it quicker, that would cost you. But this time, it was um, it was actually cheaper. So it's 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 a really awesome car, and like obviously was was good for your money as well. Why why wouldn't you go for it? It sounds this great as well. It's, it's quite game. a nippy car. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's this the one that we have in game um, is the European version, which would usually be a problem because as you can see the steering wheel is on the wrong side. Um, but the EU version of this car actually had. Had a bigger engine, uh, the 1.3 engine with uh, two Weber twin carbs. Uh, so it made 103 horsepower. It doesn't sound a lot, but it only weighed like 700 kilos or something. So it, could, it was really, really nippy. Um, yeah. a really, really I mean, cool car. Going up against the Golf GTI at the time. Yeah, I love that. I mean, that alone makes it super competitive. And it, it's, it's an absolute blast to drive as well, especially on um, when you take it off road and, you know. In Horizon, it just cuts through everything so well. It's a super fun car to drive. Looks awesome. It's kind of got that really nice, iconic um, look to it as well. I love it. Yeah. And and also only ever available in white. Perfect for winter. Per perfect for winter. Yeah. All right. Should we bring up the next video? <laughs> Okay, so this one is the Nissan Pulsar. Uh, you can unlock this by completing 50% of the festival playlist play in spring. Um, so this was, this was made by Nissan uh, in an attempt to fight uh, Toyota, Subaru, Ford um, during that, that uh, Group A rally era in the early 90s. It has uh, a Julia Turbo SR20 DET engine, and it's the same engine that you got, would have gotten a Silvia at that time. So it's really, really powerful, really tunable, uh, really upgradable which uh, obviously for you guys is really, really powerful because you can take this straight into the garaging game and start to tune and upgrade it straight away, just like you can with the Sylvia's. Um, oh, we'll drop, oh, we're, we're moving on. Anyway, yeah, that was the Nissan Pulsar, oh, yeah. bye. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, this, one, this one's a bit of a, a Playground Games legend, um, not least because uh, one, of our, one of our story designers, one of our company's founder members, uh, Ben Baker Fennell, I owned one of these for a, a long, long time until only a few months ago. Uh, so until very recently, you have spotted one of these every day in the Playground Games car park. He adored that car, he loved it, and he basically ran it into the ground. So it's now hidden in a barn somewhere in the north, in the north of England. And that is not a clue of an upcoming uh, bit of content to the game. That is, that is just where it is in real life. Um, yeah, it's a really cool car, really beautiful, super curvy, super sporty. It only made 500, again, which makes it a very, very rare car. Um, and what's also kind of cute about it is it wasn't actually a homologated version of the race car. Uh, in order to get this, you had to purchase a Puma 
and then also purchase the uh, racing team a pack, and then Ford in their uh, wear, uh, showroom wear, warehouse, whatever they would call it, in Daventry, um, the, the glamorous uh, UK medium-sized town of Daventry. Uh, you take it there, and then they would fit that kit onto it for you. So it's technically a kit car uh, rather than a homologated race car. Um, yeah, uh, Front-wheel drive, super lightweight, 1.7-liter engine, so pretty rapid, um, given the you know, how, little, how tiny it is, really. I actually love the thought of loads of racing Pumas. Loads of Pumas just lined up in Daventry, ready to be super upgraded. It's super, <laughs> it's, it's cool. I love the color on it as well. well. It's, it's, it's only, only 500, and uh, yeah, and that is definitely a sore, a sore talking point for um, Ben on our team, because he used to have one, so I'm just, let's, let's do a shout out again, the fact yeah. that he doesn't have one. <laughs> yeah, pull, 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 one out, pull one out for Fels. He technically still owns it, I just don't think he can drive. Um, and anyway, if you want to, if you want to get your hands on this, it's available in the Cool Cats seasonal event in autumn.